Okay, I want to show you guys how to uh, set a fire and it'll give you the best possible chance of success. Um, moisture is one thing that'll definitely make you fail. Uh, another possible thing is cold ground if we're up there in, in Alaska or Canada or something and we're in 65 below, the ground is really cold and that alone can cause failure of getting your fire going. So what I want to do is actually show you um, things that you can do that will give you the best possible chance of getting a fire. And what we do to uh, wet ground, uh, here we got a little pit made, but you don't have to. You can just move all the stuff that's going to combust away. And uh, <clears throat> if the ground is wet, now like we've had a lot of rain around here and this ground's pretty wet. But, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to make yourself a little platform. You want dry wood for that. And the best way to get dry wood is to get something that's dead that's standing. And if the ground, if the wood is on the ground, it'll soak up moisture and it'll totally fill the piece of wood with moisture. And that's not good. But if you get something that's in the air, then that dries out. Now sometimes you'll get rain and the rain will end up, you know, even if you rained all day, you'll get wet on the outside. Now, if that's the case, you can go ahead and shave these down and get to the drier stuff. And so that's what you would do if you were in that situation. So I like to make a platform because then that ends up being a barrier between either cold or wet. And you want the good dry stuff. <clears throat> Here we'll have a platform. Now the platform not only is a insulation between the whatever's in the ground, it also does another thing and it allows air to come into your fire. It gives channels so that, that can take place. And uh, another thing that'll happen is if you build your fire right on top of these, these will start burning and become coals for you uh, fairly quickly. And so that's helpful as well. So <clears throat> I always do a platform. And then you want all your materials here together. And one of the things I can't stress strong enough is to have lots and lots of very small dead twigs. And then from there, then you want to go ahead and go to your larger and then larger. And then actually get into your big stuff. And so that's the way you're going to do your fire. And you want them all here ready to go before you start. Because once you start, if you do it right, this thing can be in a fire in just a matter of a few minutes. So <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start one here. We'll try. We're going to do a matches fire. I'm going to do a ferro rod this time. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, birch bark. Now you'll remember over in our talk on fire, we told you that edges start easier than surfaces. And right here we got a lot of surface. So we need to make a bunch of edges. And so that's what I'm going to do here is make a bunch of edges. And I usually cut this like this. And then I end up going all the way around on this. And hopefully the wind's not blowing because that will sometimes take and blow these away on you and then you got troubles. But you see how we're making lots of little edges. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and ignite that. <coughs> As soon as I get that ignited, then I'm going to move it down here on my platform. And then we'll start in with our materials. And uh, the idea is we'll have a fire here in just a few minutes. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is use the ferro rod here. Let's see what we can do. There we go. I'm going to move this in here. I'm going to get this stuff going. Lots and lots of these. 
but sometimes you use two groups. Do them side by side like this. And as soon as the flames come through the top, which they're doing, then we'll end up scattering some of these. There's the top ready. Then when that builds, then we add the bigger and bigger, and then all we need is a little bit of time and, and the marshmallows.